Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I will uh, explain about the Docker Swarm and how you can setting up a uh, SSH FS mount. So you basically can have an, uh, a network sharing point and then uh, hook up all your replicates and then point to one machine. And the benefits of this will be if you like if you have something uh, an image uploader where you upload an image and re and then you have another one with much more machine power it's using for uh, resize that image and save it again then you can use this trick or you have a uh, replicate uh, databases you you can use it too so you can store the database on a shared mount and then just hook up the the, the nodes when you need it so that's what we want to practical today so let's first going for your machine you want to use as a SharePoint I will use my Debian sandbox and for this I need to add a new user I call it the Dogger NFS it's just it's just a name and then I want to a new password it should be 1234 and retype it 1234 and here we call it Dogger NFS you can call it Dogger Share you can call it whatever you want then we uh, need to go for, for the docker host I have it here, that's my docker manager and I need to install the plugin before we continue and the, the plugin I want to install it should be uh, have to grant all access so it can do whatever it want so that's what we want to type now grant all permissions and then we need the, the plugin here and then it's a uh, it's denied because I'm not using to do and then it's installing and set it up and everything is now fine so what we want to, to do now when we have created the user we want to go back to the Debian here and we're just going for the home folder uh, docker and then you can see everything here it's fine and then we're going back to the, the swamp manager and then we need to build a stack so let's create one call it uh, what should we call it we can just call it uh, to do nano nah, just call it nano uh, test stack the channel then we go in and define the version I would say version 3.7 that's what I'm using right now then we point the services inside here and I will call it test nginx that's what we want nothing else and then we need the image nginx and I need the volumes and the volumes here I will wait a little bit and then we need the command to be sure the nginx will uh, running as we want why can I not do this okay I copied this tag this one I want to do nginx debug and then g and then demon off okay, that's weird now we go down to say the volumes in the volumes I will uh, call it SSH mount and then we have a name Call the same SSH mount, and then we need the driver. And the driver we want to use it's uh, the plugin we are installed, and we always want the lastest. That's meaning if something is uh, updated, then it will update that. That's cool. And then we need the driver uh, driver options. We need to 
do it here and for this we need to ssh zmd command and we want to connect with docker nfs okay let's open up again okay I have some key box here but I will just copy the special characters and then you need to put a that's a little bit weird here we go and then I need the IP address for my mount and I know this is a uh, this IP and then if you just use slash then you need to be sure the user it's when you remote inside it's going for the home directory for now I'll just use uh, my path to NFS so I know what's happening and then we need a password and the password is 1234 whoops 1234 very secure and then we can go up here and what we want to do now it's pointed to SSH mount and then pointed for the app folder and that should be it so now it's starting to uh, to deploy our stack then we need to see and uh, test stack that yaml and then test stack and now it's creating it and uh, what we want to do now it's say uh, docker so do docker um, volume ls and then you can see we have this mount so let's uh, just to say so do docker volume inspect and let's inspect amount and you can see we have connected to it here and we have the password so for now it's everything is it's look like it's running well so let's see about that to so do docker stack to uh, so do docker container ls node ls and here we go stack ls yeah we have it here test that that's what i want Track PS and here we go. And you can see it's failed. And if we if we see this, it will loop in over and over and again. And you can see the, we have an error here. And I know what the error is. And the error is because we can't mount it because we need the SSH key. In my you can see I have switching here to Debian sandbox. And because I have I have uh, declined access with the password login my sandbox and security reasons and for now I just disable this and reset SSH and let's see how it happened so I'll go into sudo and then nano and then I need to go for uh, SSH SSH HD HD config and then I have it down below here and just change this to yes to do service SSH restart let's go back and see how it's uh, react now It's running for how long time? Less than a second. Okay, it's, it's still going down. So what I need to do now is just to, to do docker stack, remo rem uh, remove, test stack, and then we're just removing it. And then we go a little bit up again and let's remove the SSH point. And then we want to deploy stack again 
and here we go. Now I can see it's running. One second, two seconds. It's now it's running. So now we basically get access for this. So what I need to do now it's uh, do this to do Docker execute. I want to log inside to it and going from base sh. No, can I do it with the with the ID maybe? No, my point is I'll show how the file is, but I cannot remember on the head how it's working. So I need to search a little bit for that before, but uh, no problem. What I want to do now, it's uh, it's going for the stack file. So nano to stack here, and then I will add the replicate just so I can show the example is much uh, better. Uh, and then we need to replicate and to do this we want to type deploy that's meaning when we deploy something and then we need to add replicate and let's just take uh, six points here that's fine for me and then save it and we going just back for the stack here you can see and then we should updating the stack and let's see how this is working. And you can see we have six amounts. Some of those is uh, it's failed, but we can see we started for manager, 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 or manager one. Then we have one up here, it's, it's failed. And now it's exit so it's trying to to start up but we have some error let's check what happening here so let's go into the stack file and see what happening it's probably because something here it's uh, on the command is it's typing wrong so nginx debug g and uh, D, ah daemon i flip around the the words here so let's to uh, Build it up again and see what happening. We update it and see about it's running. It should running. Assign for preparing starting one. And now you can see it started. Running two seconds, six seconds, seven, eight. Let's see what happening up here. Eight. 30, 40. Okay, now it's running. So let's see about I can uh, connect to it again. Uh, nope, I can't. So let's see about the ID of it. Nope. Okay. I'll just move this. It's a little bit weird this one. Let's see what happened here in the container. Then we get in a better way. I'll say let's take this one that's the ID toggle exit and then base yes and then we are in the app and you can see I have everything here I have one more here so to so do toggle container ls and then I will show you this one so do docker exit base cd app and you can see we have the two different uh, ids here two different uh, containers but same files so now i want to say nano uh, 
test text and inside of here I want to say hello world and save it no nope. to do nano test txt and hello world and there we go and we have the test file and you can see if I put it over here we have it here and then we have it here so now it's uh, it's working as it should be and that's it but I think maybe something about the the, the volumes it's only bind for for the master node when you deploy the stack on and I will figure out that and probably make a video about it but before we we stop in here I will show you something uh, something about the reconnect because if you turn off the data here let's say I have my Hyper-V and then I want to turn off the my storage and then you will discover see now I cannot see the files anymore and that's because we are offline and if I'm going back and say uh, oh that it's going down and then I put the power connection back in the machine and, and plug it up again and give it a little time then you will discover it will not come back online it's, it's don't know it's, it's back online because it doesn't know it should uh, reconnect so now it's, it's back online but interrupted you can see its endpoint does not exist anymore and uh, that's not so good so what we want to do is going out outside the container open up the stack again whoops the wrong command and you need to test stack and the only thing you want to do now it's basically going down here and type reconnect and then make it empty and let's try to see about it's well, updating my stack or I need to remove the volumes in my test case I need to remove the volumes first so I'm a little bit excited to see how it's reacting now. It's look like that. So that's Docker container ls. I want to connect for this one. So do Docker. Base. That's probably not running. Now here we go. Yes, and uh, it's empty. It should not be empty. And that's what I'm not like here. Uh, so let's say sudo docker volume it is, and I want to remove this. And sudo docker stack remove. Test engine X. Remove test stack. And then we remove this. And so do Docker stack LS. It's still in using here, so I need to remove it. And pause. Yes, perfect. And then I can set another stack again. So deploy this stack. Deploy the stack. And see about sudo Java volume. It is. It's here. So let's go in. To play a little bit more, so do Docker 
uh, container ls and take this one going inside and you can see everything down here and if I'm going to turn it off you will uh, realize now I don't have any connections uh, but if I'm going up here and say start again you will realize a little bit it will uh, show me that up and, and print it out it should come here so just wait a little bit should be and you can see the first one is input output error because the directory cannot open the directory and then it's re reconnected and that's because we have the connection here uh, in the cat test tag and that's because we have um, this one if you forgot this it's meaning if the connection is dropped it will never be reconnected and then you probably need to restart uh, remount the, the mount or you need to restart the docker uh, node so I would recommend you to use the reconnect function, it's very nice. And then of course you need to some monitoring about that, about the, the mount is really connected or not, so you can get information. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you want uh, to learn about that. And remember this uh, code will uh, be on the GitHub, and of course I'll remove my uh, IP address and the silly password, so I will give a tag so you know that. Thank you so much and really hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and uh, don't forget to hit the like button and smash the comments field. If you have any questions for me, I'll be uh, happy to help you. And, and remember to share this video with your friends and uh, put it to your playlist. Thank you so much for subscribing. Hope to see you next time. Bye.